what I want to do is I want to start right over here with the wood pile. So we've taken a lot of wood chips, and uh, you'll notice that the wood chips are a little on the large side, some of them are small. Primarily, the reason we take this wood in is we, we use it in our, in our blend uh, when we're mixing uh, the compost uh, uh, blend. So let's go around the back and we'll start our little tour. All right, so what we're doing now is we're coming up to the uh, biofilter. This is our biofiltration system. Uh, basically, our, this mixing building that we just drove behind is, uh, is all negative air pressure, right? So what happens is all the air that's generated and odors that are generated inside the mixing building get pumped through a fan system and it gets pumped into this biofiltration uh, uh, system. Now, underneath here, there's pipes that distribute the air uh, through the wood chips. The media that we use for the biofiltration is wood chips. So we're going we're gonna to start here with, this is our finished product. Uh, it looks like black gold to me. And uh, after, after the entire composting process, we screen the material, we take the wood chips out, and this is what we get. And this is what we sell. This material is, uh, is a very, it's very high in nutrients. Um, it's a very good growth media. So, and in a lot of cases, uh, we deal with companies that do a lot of bagging. So this is like a, the foundation of a house, so to speak. The co it starts with the compost, and they add to it, and then they bag it and sell it. So our, our compost is the basis of a lot of, different, a lot of different materials that are out there selling in bags. So, Scott's is our, some, of, you know, some of our customers are like Scott's, uh, which is a very large company, and H&H, uh, &H, Pleasance, all Costa Maine. Over here, this is the north side of our facility. Uh, this material here is waiting to be screened. Uh, we put it in these smaller windrows. We break it down from the bunkers into small windrows. So it enables us to turn this material. And that's how we process this material and further uh, get it to the point where we send it for analysis. Uh, nothing leaves here that hasn't been analyzed by an independent lab uh, and approved for sale. This is one of our screening plants. Right now it's not operating, but uh, this is where we will take this material, put it through a, it's called a trommel, trommel screen. It goes through a 3-8 screen. And this is the, the wood that is, that is screened out. And on the other side, it's called the, the, the finished side. All this material eventually be, will be re-screened because there's still compost uh, attached to that wood. Uh, and then once we do that, that wood is then reused in our mixing process. So it's kind of like a closed loop. We don't, we, we make sure that we recycle everything that we use. So here you can see is our, one of our screening plants working right now. So what you see right here, this is the finished side. This is finished material uh, ready to be sold. That'll be put into, uh, into windrows uh, on the finished side here. Uh, and as the trucks come in, we, we fill the trucks. So you can see the trommel is, uh, is turning, and it's screening out the wood on the other side. You're getting all the wood uh, pieces coming out on the other side. And uh, so you go one side, you get the recycled wood, and the other side, you're getting the finished. So as we're coming up here, you'll be able to see some of the smaller windrows that we've broken down that, we're, that we are turning with our windrow turner which is a pretty interesting piece of equipment. So the windrow turner, what it does, it actually straddles these, these, uh, this windrow, this pile, and it has a rotating drum with flails, and it then takes the material from underneath and brings it up top, and that's how we blend the material and continually mix it. And that mixing helps it to break down. It, it aerates the pile, it distributes the moisture within the pile, and it helps it break down further. Now, as we come up here, I, I want to just explain a little bit about what we're doing here. This is the active, where you see the, where you see the bunkers, these are bunkers, where you see it tarped, has that tarp along it. That's the active composting uh, process, right? So this is active compost right now. 
Uh, you'll see, like these are fans right here that pump air into the into the uh, into the bunker. It's a, a positive, it's on the positive air, so we get positive air pressure. And the bunkers that you see without the co without the cover is phase two uh, of our process. So that's the beginning of our. It's like a pre pre curing process. We're still pumping air. We're still monitoring temperature, and uh, but yet it's not covered. This pile right here is being newly, it's newly being constructed. So what's, what happened today, whatever we got in today from, uh, you know, from Purdue, uh, we've already mixed and it's already uh, starting to be constructed. So this will take about four to five days to fully full, fill this bunker. Once it's filled, we'll use our top machine, which I'll show you in a minute, uh, to cover this. Uh, and then again, it will start the process. Uh, we also use the top machine to remove the top, so I'll show you what that looks like now. That's our mixing building where all the, uh, the, where all the action happens. When the material comes in, it goes directly into the mixing building. Uh, the, there's a wheel loader in there. You can, I don't know, you can barely see it. Uh, he's taking wood and he's blending it with the material that comes in. And he'll take that, once it's blended fully, he takes the material out and it, start, and it continues to go into that bunker. All our, all our bunkers and all our, pie, or all our windrows are numbered, uh, and we call them batch numbers. And the reason we do that is so we can always trace back uh, where the material came from, how long we had it, what day it came in on, what day the mixing was completed. Uh, we attach a lot of information to that, to that number that, that helps us track everything that we do here. But this is beautiful material. So we have 18 bunkers that we, uh, that we use for our composting process. And uh, that completes our tour. <laughs>